Darren, many thanks. The time is 19 minutes to nine, and the man behind one of the biggest dot-com boom and busts is back. Should it be booms and busts? Boom and busts. Anyway, Adam Shorty. Uh, we'll answer that later online. Uh, the online fashion retailer Boo.com, it burned through $135 million of investors' money back in 1999 and 2000. Even before it launched, it had 400 staff spread across Europe and had been named as one of the continent's coolest companies. But it hadn't sold a thing. Uh, the site was badly delayed. When it did go live, few people had the internet speed that it was actually needed to access the site. It lasted just a few months before investors pulled the plug. Well, now the man behind it, the Swedish entrepreneur Ernst Malmsten is back. This week he's launching the website for the luxury goods brand Lara Bohink. I spoke to him earlier and asked him what he'd learned from his previous failure. I think I learned so much, you know, for that was a very short time and it was a real business education. I think I learned you need to take things a bit slower. I mean, I think we're moving so fast and if you move fast you do mistakes and of course it's high risks, high rewards. But I, th I think the environment today is very different that it was in, in late uh, 90s. Well, do you, I mean, that's the important point here in a way, isn't it? Do you feel that you and indeed others made mistakes in the past or was it the environment that was wrong? It was the sort of investors that were expecting too much of you and, and that has changed or was it both? I think it's a combination of, of both, you know. I think in, in the 90s was the young people, you know, in the 20s, you know, they didn't really have any big management experience. But also, I mean, people were mis visionary, but end of the day, I think... We were too early, and lots of companies were too early. Internet wasn't there. So you think now people are much more confident about the internet? I mean, that's clear that that is the case. Has anything else changed? Do you think that will help this business in a way that your previous business wasn't helped? I think it's much easier nowadays with the technology, you know, to, the cost to to, uh, to start and... Um, well, well, give me an idea of the cost. I mean, what did it cost to start Boo.com, and what's it costing to start this new service? <laughs> there was so much money <laughs> at Boo, 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 uh, Boo uh, time. I think we spent like 20 or 30 million pounds on just on the technology. Now, uh, I think we have spent 10,000 uh, or something like that. And also, uh, most of the software is free now today. It's open source. You can download it. And I mean, all this uh, software is free on the Internet. So it's, I mean, it's, it's quite amazing. And it's... Uh, how things have changed. This new business is rather upmarket, isn't it? I mean, we spent most of the morning, this morning, talking about how troubled the retail sector is, how worried everyone is about the economy, and boom, this is the time you decide to launch an upmarket shopping experience. It seems another crazy idea. Um, there are always consumers who want to, to, to buy um, luxury goods product. Uh, but of course, you know, it's, um, I mean, it's a tough environment in the UK. Lots of our, um, uh, but we're an international business, and... So it's a bit cheaper for people who <laughs> buy for, we, uh, pay in euros and, and so on. You say things have become more normalised in the internet world, and yet we're hearing mutterings, certainly from the US, about, again, another internet bubble, that things are massively overpriced. Do you feel echoes of that previous period, being someone who's been through it? Yes, you know, definitely, and I think it's, I think it's, I mean, time is coming back, and I mean, people f also forget very quickly as well, 10 years have gone, gone past, and human nature is about optimism, and, and internet is changing the world, and will do that in the next 10 years as well, so there will be some winners, and there will be some losers. Right, but to be, to be clear, you do feel that this period feels like the dot-com boom and bust of, of previous years, and, and, and therefore that's something to worry about, if that's true. Yes, uh, I mean, I think it's start of it. I, I, I don't think we have seen seen everything now. I mean, America just coming out of a recession, and but I think in one year's time, it's going to be. I mean, it's going to be crazy times again. So a possible bust around the corner. It always going to be a correction, you know. For, I mean, internet's moving so fast now, so there will be new players, and this company's worth uh, fifty billion today. Maybe it's not worth anything tomorrow. Who knows? And that was Ernst Malmsten from uh, Laura Boeing speaking to me a little earlier. One other item of business news, uh, Allied Iron.